Hi Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is fantastic. Getting ready here to do your January. Oh, wow, we already got a card popping out here. Getting ready here to do your January 2024 reading. I will pull some general messages first and then we'll dive into uh, the love portion. We'll dig a little deeper on your love situation. Uh, so with that, let's get started. Just want to say happy holidays. I hope everybody is healthy, safe, fantastic. I already got uh, a card popping out here. Oh boy, let's see what's, oh my gosh, Capricorn. All right, you know, very strongly, I just have to say with these four messages, I pick up a love situation, okay? We're gonna pull, pull uh, three more general messages, but I'm strongly picking up love for you, okay? So I feel like there's something here about taking things to the next level, okay? Something around a commitment. This is uh, also that energy that love is in the air. I do feel you've got sexuality here. I do feel there is somebody that you and this person have a very intense, passionate connection. Um, I do feel it is also showing me that um, I feel like this is somebody that you see the opportunity that you could have marriage with um, and there may be some sort of struggle here, okay? Now, some of you, if you don't have anybody on your mind, it just could be an indication that's what you're looking for and maybe you're attracting these people into your life that are just wanting something casual. They're not wanting to make a commitment. But others, I feel like there could be somebody in your energy that you and this person have a very intense magnetic attraction um, and connection with each other. And I feel like this is someone you're looking to build something long term with. But I do feel like there is some, th some sort of challenge. Some of you could even be in a relationship. If you are in a relationship, I do feel like um, there could be challenges. But you got tough and trying times here. And so there's an energy. I feel like there may be some sort of upcoming uh, decision that you're going to have to make. Um, about a particular person or this just could be right attracting the right people into your life you also have here love life so it does feel like in January there is going to be some sort of decision um, that you're going to make for the future and the next card is future about somebody here in your life okay and if you don't have anybody in your life you know I'm just gonna say it could be somebody uh, close to the heart or it just could be about making changes in your love life in general. So take it how it resonates. So we'll see when we dive deeper into the love portion of your reading. But I want to pull again some general messages. See if anything else comes up besides love. So what else does uh, Capricorn need to know regarding love in January 2024? Okay. All right. Yeah, very interesting energy I'm picking up um, because I feel in your job or in your love life, take it how it resonates. I feel like a lot of you may be ending um, or terminating either a relationship or maybe ter terminating um, a job here, okay? It feels like there is going to be a new opportunity that may come in for you. Um, some of you, it may just be the idea of looking for new opportunities. And I feel like it's not like, um, you know, you're going to end a job and, you know, not look for a new job. I feel like the opportunity is going to be there and that may be where you decide to terminate your employment. But I also feel like there's a love situation here that you may decide um, to uh, end it. Okay. Because a lot of you, I feel there's there's a challenge in uh, a connection or relationship. And I feel like possibly I get two scenarios, either if you're in a relationship, maybe that 
that passion, that chemistry is not there. But if you're not in a commitment with this person, I feel like that's what's holding this connection together, that that passion, that you know, chemistry the two of you share. And I sense here a lot of you may be deciding here to move in a new direction. Now, whether you know, I'm hearing sirens. I don't know why and what spirit's giving me. You may be recovering from a, a situation with somebody, but I'm sensing that you are going to intentionally be planning, whether it's leaving an employment or it's leaving a relationship, because I don't feel like you're just going to abruptly do this. I feel like this is something you are planning step by step, and this is also telling you you're going to be divinely guided at this time. Now, I'm not saying that all of you are going to end a relationship or end a job, okay? That's where divine guidance comes in, and then you're going to have to make a decision. But I feel like a lot of you, this could be the case. You also have here great match, okay? So this is where you're on the verge of you know, looking, finding another opportunity. I always say with this card because you can see that this person is like doing a puzzle. You know, it's of the world, okay? The world talks about new beginnings, new chapters in your life. And it's almost like somebody's tired here. So it gives me a sense that you may be tired, Capricorn, of the situation, the challenges you've been experiencing. Uh, some of you may be even um, experiencing some negative energy and they're telling you to avoid people that you feel that negative or not positive uh, energy from, okay? And this could be, you know, either the workplace or um, a particular person in your life. Now, in the bottom of the deck here, you do have uh, moving up. And so this is what I'm really sensing here, whether it's love and relationships or this is around your career, I feel like you are leveling up. I feel like this is about you raising your vibration, maybe you making a decision to you know, move away from a situation you're not feeling as healthy for you or you're not feeling like things are moving to the next level. So this also talks about you feeling more empowered, maybe you taking your control back because, wow, interesting that I said control because the next card I just noticed says authority. There's something I feel that you feel like you're not getting anywhere. Some of you, it could be a particular person that you are clashing with is what I'm feeling here. And this is, I feel about you coming to some sort of peaceful resolution. So I feel January you know, just in general is going to be in a, a place where you take your power back. And I feel like you're going to be taking the steps to make some sort of decision. But I also am hearing that spirit is saying not to hurry, not to worry, because they will be uh, spirit and your ancestors will be guiding you here and your angels. So let's dig deeper now into the love situation. Thank you, spirit. What messages do you have for Capricorn in love? Please share with Capricorn. And if you did decide to leave an employer, I do feel there's a better opportunity. Okay. Um, some of you, you, I'm also hearing, sorry, I'm going back to this. I'm also hearing for some of you that uh, if you tell your employer that, you know, you're going to leave for a new opportunity, they may give you a promotion. Okay, that's for some of you, not all of you, but I'm hearing that as well. Let's see what the tarot has to say here in love. Please share with Capricorn what they need to know in love. Please share with Capricorn what they need to know in love. Okay, I think we got all your cards here. All right, those last ones flew out there. All right. So I'm going to pull one more card. I'm going to leave that one because that was the bottom of the deck, but I want to pull one more card. Okay, there it is. All right, we had to be even here, uh, Capricorn. Okay, 
So see what the direction, I use these cards for the love cards as well, um, and the position of the cards. I feel like there is something you, in January, you're going to be having some epiphanies and some realizations about the direction you are going. Now, I feel like for others, as related into career two, which I did not mention, um, it also may be about you kind of finding your purpose and that kind of unfolding slowly. But as it pertains to your love life, I see you really thinking about the future. I feel like there is some sort of tough decision you're making around a commitment, whether you're in a commitment or there is someone that you're just not feeling like they're really committed to the relationship or taking things to the next level. So I see you kind of looking at the possibilities here with the three of wands, really envisioning what you want for your future, what you're trying to manifest. We're going to go back and we're going to clarify. Now, I'm going to clarify because this can be some sort of breakthrough, okay? Uh, you know, some sort of clarity, communication. You have, uh, with the great match energy here, you do have a tower. And I feel like there is someone you have feelings for. I do feel no matter what the situation, there is mutual feelings here. But I'm also sensing something's going to happen here with that tower energy. Something unexpected. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what that's about. Now I talked about an ending here. And look what we have with an ending. We have here something new. Something new here. And I feel like there's your energy king of pentacles but i feel like there's something new that is about to happen once this ending happens okay so in love i feel like there could be um, a new love coming into your life you always have free will and choice some of you this could be communication right if this is somebody that there was some sort of ending in the past with we'll see when we clarify now, I talked about moving up. This is raising your vibration. I feel like your higher self is trying to tell you that there's something about this person not, um, I feel, either having good intentions or this person not treating you fairly, okay? Or I feel like, too, this could talk about somebody who, you know, isn't taking things to the next level. Uh, you know, this also could talk about marriage, okay, and commitment. So let's, uh, we'll clarify, see what that's about. And then look what happens. The energy shifts here with it, shifts with the eight of wands. So I feel like there could possibly be a big shift for you in love, Capricorn, in January. Look at that. Three of cups and the sun card. So I feel like there's a very social energy. So this could be about you going out, meeting people, uh, some of you, it could be getting invitations from people to go out, um, you know, in love, some of you dating, right? But we're going to clarify, we're going to see uh, what the energy shows for you. So let's start with this three of wands energy. Thank you, spirit. What can you share with Capricorn about this three of wands? Yeah, so I feel like, oh, and there's your energy on the bottom of the deck, Capricorn. I feel like, yeah, there's three of wands about you, okay? I feel like maybe there's something you've been waiting for from somebody, but I just feel like you haven't seen a whole lot of movement. I feel like you're frustrated. You know, I feel like you're at that point. You just want to give up on the situation. So let's see why the Ace of Swords is here. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Okay, your energy is showing up again, the King of Pentacles here. Interesting because I feel there's someone who has been distant with you. I want to clarify uh, this Three of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles before I say anything. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune. 
There's a third person coming into the picture here, and I mean that on with you, okay? There's someone I feel like you're at the point where I just want to give up, okay? I'm seeing threes here. You may see repeating threes during the month of January, but something's something's changing here, and I feel like it's a it's a change where things are going to move in a new direction, where things go in your favor. Okay, it's bringing you a new beginning, but it's also saying here that, you know, it's about taking that risk and leap of faith. Something is going to unfold slowly here. I don't feel like it's like an abrupt thing, but we'll see with the tower. I feel like you're going to feel drawn to this new energy, but... I feel like there's a possibility here that there could be somebody here who wants to work on things with you. Could be this person. So I'm going to go straight to this tower. Tell me more about this tower. Tell me more about this tower. Okay. You know what I'm really getting? I feel like even though you have feelings from this with this with somebody here, I feel like you're starting to feel this pull to move in a new direction. That's what I'm picking up very very strongly here. I feel like there's a part of you that does not want to give up on this, but I feel like you may be at that place where I'm just feeling like I truly want to be happy and if somebody here is not going to put in the work is not going to work together with me and I feel like that's the the epiphany the realization that you're having here because I feel like there's somebody here who is being very distant with you uh Capricorn I you know and you're tired remember I said that you're tired and I feel like you just want to be happy so I want it that takes me to this this energy here okay let me let me see why this page of cups is here tell me more about this page of cups look at that we got the ten of cups let's get another card why is the page of cups here again talking about your happiness and we have the six of cups and we also have here the queen of pentacles very interesting Either a new soulmate is coming in for you, Capricorn, or I feel, no, because I see you kind of in an independent energy here, okay, I see you working on yourself, maybe some of you are very focused on your money and your career, you have the sun card here telling me that there's a lot of potential and happiness here. I really get there's a there's like an old friend I'm picking up like an old friend um, or someone that you knew in the past or someone from your past I don't feel like it's this person because I see you pulling back your energy I see you tired I feel like you're slowly moving towards something new here okay and I feel like you may be deciding to end things and I feel like then something new comes. We got uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces and I feel like it's somebody you know. I don't feel like this is somebody completely new that you run into, you know, and it's kind of that faded energy. I feel like this is someone that could be a friend. It could be somebody already flirting with you, but I feel like this is someone who feels a lot of happiness you know, whatever interactions they've had with you in the past, they see your value and they see your worth here. But I'm going to ask, um, after this, I'm after I'm done clarifying, I'm going to ask about this other person, the person that you're just tired and frustrated with. We're going to see the potential there and then I'm going to see what the new energy shows. Okay, so let's clarify this justice card. Tell me more about justice. Yeah, you know, I said here that your higher self, I feel, is telling you that change needs to happen. 
this is where I see you moving up, your vibration rate uh, rising, I should say, uh, or raising your vibration. I feel like this is really about you stepping into your power, really listening to your intuition, and that's where the change is happening, is what I'm getting here. And, you know, I had put, I had clarified justice. So I feel like this is an energy about you really gaining clarity about what you want to happen and what you want to change in your love life. I feel though a lot of you feel like you invested a lot in a situation with the seven of pentacles, but it's also a card of reflection, reflecting and thinking, yeah, I've invested a lot in a situation, but is it really where I want it to be? There is some growth there, right? There is some time there, but there's something here about this person not taking things to the next level and that's what I'm really feeling here in your love life now bottom of the deck here we saw we had the the eight of eight of wands three of cups the sun card okay yeah I feel there's another partner coming in for you okay if you decide that's the direction you want to go in because look we have the king and the queen of wands and we also have here the ace of cups but I feel like um, as far as timing goes, we'll see when I pull these cards because it does give me some timing. I feel like a new person could enter your life um, the beginning um, of February, okay, going into January. So, uh, you know, I mean, f coming out of January, I feel in February, uh, January, you're really going to be making a decision about this person. You know, in strong energy, it feels like you want something to change. And the change may be with you, you deciding, you know what, I, I feel like there's something better for me. But let's see what the potential is uh, between you and this person you're trying to make a decision with. Okay, there's your energy. Mm, interesting king and queen of wands the world there's change again oh yeah again it's showing me um you making um an intuitive decision about this person you know and i really feel like um this is about you making a decision it's like i don't see a whole lot of action with this person that you are dealing with or you are thinking about and I feel like that may be where, because I feel like you see this person as a partner. And, you know, and again, I told you, there's a very strong, intense, passionate energy between the two of you. A lot of chemistry. You know, you did get the sexuality card. But I'm also feeling, some of you, I'm going to say, some of you may even have a child with this person. But I feel like, you know... You're the one who's going to be taking action here. I don't feel like this person is. I'm going to see if there's anything else that Capricorn needs to know about this situation. Yeah. So what this really tells me, I feel it's very difficult for you with the Two of Swords energy there. And to make a decision. And I feel like, look at this. You got the five of coin. I feel like you're not getting what you need here. And you got the five of swords, which tells me, and the nine of cups is telling me that this is about you getting what you want, what you're hoping for, what you're wishing for. And I feel like this is someone who hasn't given you what you, you need. Um, and so I feel, you know, January is going to be about you making a decision is what I'm sensing. Let's see what the potential of this new energy coming in for Capricorn is. Wow. I just have to say, wow. It's showing me that this is going to be a hard transition for you is what I'm really feeling. Um, but I do feel like this is someone uh, that's coming in for you. It could even be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. They're going to be very honest. Very honest. They're very intellectual. This is someone who will want to do the right thing. Um, I do feel like this is someone, remember I said, I think I said somewhere, uh, social invitations. 
you may be getting social uh, invitations upcoming. And that's why I was saying I felt like this could be someone truly that you meet beginning of February. Um, I feel like going into spring, but I feel this is someone you're going to feel happy with. It's someone you're going to connect with. I feel like the two of you will enjoy each other's company going out. We do have uh, the Seven of Cups. Now, there is a possibility this other person could be around. Um, but remember, we had this energy before. It's that energy I've invested time in this other situation. But is it where I want it to be? There's a strain here. There's a strain. There's a crack in this egg. It's telling me that that connection is strained. But there's this new connection coming forward. And I feel like Spirit is saying here too, this person, this new person coming in for you, you won't have to question this person's motives because this person is very confident with the strength card. Could even be a, a Leo energy. So you're going to have, um, I feel, a difficult decision, Capricorn, to make. But this could be someone, too, who played games with you is what I'm getting or does play games with you. So let's see. I'm going to close it out with some final messages. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, look at this. We have unity, a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You attract and radiate great love. Okay. Now, it's number 34, which is seven. Okay. I see this card as spiritual growth. And I feel like you've learned a lot through this connection, through this relationship. And that's where I feel, I feel like you feel a very strong connection with this person. Yeah, you got the star card number 29, which is 11. It says, hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and, pos and positivity. You have judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. So I feel like this connection that you've had with somebody, you know, there's been a lot of growth. You've learned a lot. You're more wise. Uh, I feel like you're going to have to make a decision. Number 14, which is five, tells me this is decision through conflict and challenges that you've had with this person. Now, Bottom of the deck here, you do have celebrations, and this is, you know, again, another social energy, and I feel like there's going to be another person, okay, that's going to show up for you, and again, a number five telling me two fives here. You may see repeating fives. Repeating fives, repeating ones, and seven are going to be important numbers for you in January, and this is telling you that you're going to you're going to get more invitations or people that are interested in you but i also sense here that you're going to have possibly a hard time transitioning to the to the new energy some of you may not but i'm also feeling here too celebrations okay new years um or parties uh, may be important so i would say if you get invited to new years or parties i would go 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 so Capricorn, uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.